Today in our 2013 Volkswagen EOS, we'll be installing the Kurt trailer hitch, part number C11090. Here's what the hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a bicycle rack or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is approximately 9 inches. From the top of the opening in the receiver to the ground is approximately 9.5 inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. Before we begin, we're going to go ahead and install a safety strap to help support the exhaust before we remove any of the hangers as well as the bolts that help hold the exhaust into place. Now that our safety strap is up, now we can begin by removing the two exhaust hangers by using a little spray lubricant and a pry bar. Now for the passenger side, you'll see that there's a rubber exhaust hanger that's bolted to the underside of the vehicle. We'll need to remove these two bolts as we will be using these two weld nuts as locations to mount the hitch. Now we're going to need to remove the tabs and the bolts that hold the heat shield in place. There are four fasteners at the center of the heat shield, two towards the front and two towards the rear. To loosen them, you will need to squeeze the outer part of the fastener and twist them off. These can be a little difficult, so you may want to use a pair of channel locks to get them started. There's one bolt over here on the driver's side that we'll need to remove. On each side of the heat shield, we'll need to cut the wing section off, essentially making the heat shield become a square or rectangle shape. Now that we have both of the sides of the heat shield removed, we can go ahead and reinstall the heat shield by putting the four fasteners back up into place. If you take a socket and push up on the center of the fastener, it helps them slide into place and secure the heat shield up tight against the underbody of the vehicle. Now let's go ahead and point out the hardware that we'll be using to mount our hitch to the underside of the vehicle. We'll be using a half inch carriage bolt, a square hole spacer, as well as a half inch hex flange nut. We'll be using the fish wire technique. To install the half inch carriage bolt, you'll feed the coiled end of the fish wire through the hole and come out the access hole. You'll then feed the square hole spacer block onto the fish wire, then thread the half inch carriage bolt onto the end. You can then push the square hole spacer block into the access hole, and in this case we found that you had to put the head of the bolt in through the hole first to allow it to go in. Once everything's in the frame rail, go ahead and pull down, pulling the carriage bolt through the hole and seating it into the square hole spacer block. We'll repeat this process for both sides. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the hitch up into place. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you do this. We did find that you'll need to work the hitch up on the driver's side first and work it over a little farther than necessary so that you can clear the exhaust over here on the passenger side. Once that's done, we can go ahead and line it up over the top of the half inch carriage bolt, putting the flange nut in place. On the passenger side, we'll then go ahead and put the M8 bolts with the washers up into the existing weld nuts. On the driver's side, we'll make sure that we install the exhaust hanger as we're installing the M8 bolts. Once you have all the hardware snug down, we can go ahead and torque it to the manufacturer's specification. Raise the exhaust back up into place by putting the two rubber exhaust hangers back up. Now that we have the two rubber exhaust hangers back up, we can go ahead and remove the safety strap. And with that, that'll complete the installation of our Kurt Hitch, part number C11090 on our 2013 Volkswagen EOS.